Hello and welcome to this Tips and Tricks for Carveco Maker Plus. In this video we're going to take a look at modifying reliefs or STLs that you've imported with Carveco Maker Plus. Here you can see an imported 3D model file and I really like the steamboat and I wanted to put my name on this. But as you can see at the top, it's got these holes cut out and it's also got this text. So I'm going to show you how you can fill these in using Maker Plus. So if I take a plan view of this, and then what I'm going to do is draw a vector around all of these pieces. Now, luckily, if you take a look down the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a Z value. So this Z value is 0 0.7. And if I go around there, you can see that it's pretty much flat. If it wasn't flat, then I wouldn't be able to use this method because what I'm going to do is just literally remove these parts and then fill them back in with a flat. So what I'm going to do is just draw a rectangle around there also going to draw a rectangle around there and then what I can do is select both of them and then I'm going to go to zero inside the vector and then that's going to remove them now if I turn off the vectors and then rotate around you can see that I've got these large holes in there now so what I need to do now is fill those back in. So if I turn the vectors back on, let's select them. And then I'm going to go to the shape editor, which is here. Now I just want to do a plane because this is just going to be a flat surface, but I need to know what height to do this at. So if I hover over again, I can see that it's, it's about, 0 0.7 okay so it's it's just over half a phase so let's say that it's 0 0.7 so if I go to a start height and put 0 0.7 and then what I want to do is at the moment if I turn those off it actually looks okay now sometimes depending on where pixels lie you may have some spikes that basically shoot out of where the vectors are by this height if that happens then what you need to do is select merge height and i'm going to select merge height anyway just to make sure and then click apply and then i can cancel that and that's filled that in so i can delete those vectors now let's go on to the plan view of this and i'm going to create some text so let's just do Ariel and I'm going to type in my name. I'm just going to transform this. To about there and then move that upwards. Let's say about there. And then I can open up the shape editor again. turn off the vectors for a moment and I'm going to do a square now at the moment you can't see anything that's because I've got this set to merge high so I need it to be add because I want to add it onto the top of what's already there so if I click add then you can see it so I'm going to just maybe limit this to a height of maybe 10 there and then add a start height maybe 0.1 and then click apply and cancel so that's how easy it is to do something like this now another thing that you can do let's say that I, I don't want my name on there I just want this steamboat and I really really like the frame going around here so let's undo that and I'm going to cancel that 
let's delete my name. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut a portion out of this. So if I create, let's say that there, and then I can either use the cookie cutter or I can use zero inside vector. Let's delete that. So now I've got two separate parts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top part like so, and then I'm going to use the cookie cutter on that one. That's going to free that up so it turns blue. Then what I'm going to do is draw another rectangle around the whole thing and I'm going to zero inside this vector. That's going to remove what was already there. And now I can delete those. And then this one, I'm going to press Alt on the keyboard so it maintains an angle snap. And then I'm just going to go over the top slightly of that one there, like so. And then I just want these to blend in. So what I'm going to do is go to the Transform tool and then make sure that you've got Merge High selected, otherwise it will add onto the top of it and it won't look correct. And then paste that down. And then you've created a new frame for it. And it should blend in quite nicely. Now for something a little bit more challenging. So here I have this emblem and the United States Army and Criminal Investigation Command. I don't really like the text too much. I want to recreate the text or I just want to remove the text. Now the problem that I've got with this is that this is on a dome. So you can see here, if I rotate around, you can see this is on a dome here. So I don't know when I hover over this, my zero is not flat. So you can see that as I move the Z zero down that bottom right hand corner or the Z value is changing. So I don't know what the size is, so I can't just remove this. What I need to do is remove the whole of this section, not just the text. I need to remove the whole of this section. And to do that, I'm going to create some vectors and then remove it. And then I'm going to fill that back in. Create a circle, which is probably the easiest for this. And I'm going to snap to the center. Hopefully this has been drawn correctly and it is in the center. And then what I'm going to do is just zoom in I'll just do it just a little bit before this part of the relief finishes. Then I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and then I'm going to drag this out again to create a second one. Like so. Now with these two vectors, what I can do is select both of those and I'm going to delete the portion of the relief that's inside them. So I'm going to zero inside of the vector. And then that removes them. Now what I need to do is fill this back up. So if I select both of the vectors and then go to the shape editor again, and I'm going to do a round and there you can see it fills it back up. Now the problem that I've got with this is if I turn off the vectors and let's add a star height to that. The problem that I've got is that it's coming back down here. And I don't really want that. I want it to sort of follow what this is doing. So to do that, let's deselect this internal vector. And then it basically adds the dome over the whole thing here. Now it's adding to the top of this what is in the inside. 
So we need to change this to merge high. Now it's just showing you what this dome is doing. So what we need to do is drop this dome down until we see all of the other parts. So it's only going to be a small sort of angle, let's say about there. And I'm going to adjust the height maybe a little bit probably taking out a little bit of the stars here as you can see see that I've got a line here so let's drop that down that looks a bit better okay so I'm going to leave it there select apply and cancel let's turn off the vectors I'll probably keep those so I can use the vector circle to create a text along the curve so let's turn those off and you can see that that is basically filled in that gap so that's how you modify 3d files when brought into carve code maker plus